The women's 100 meters has been dominated by both Shariga Jackson and Shakari Richardson and also Marie Jo Saitalu in 2023. These athletes have really been the top line athletes in 2023 so far. Agreed. However, we are seeing another athlete really make a strong appearance, and that athlete is Julian Alfred from St. Lucia. Bro, now for much of 2023, Alfred had been how. absolutely crushing the NCAA scene, breaking multiple NCAA records, going undefeated in the indoor 60, the outdoor 100, and the outdoor 200 meters, where she achieved a magnificent double in both of these sprinting disciplines. Alfred's undefeated season has been one of the greatest that I have ever seen in the collegiate ranks. And today, in Sakeshva Hilvar, Hungary, we saw Julian Alfred clash with Shakari Richardson. Now, this was a big matchup as both athletes had been undefeated up to this point. They had both broken 10.8, and this was really she a big clash Chicago between the starting tail. capabilities of Alfred versus the amazing top end speed of Shakari Richardson. And with an unmatched finish, we saw Julian Alfred take down Shakari Richardson with a finishing time of 10.89 seconds. Now, tired. finishing in second was Shakari Richardson she in 10.97, followed by Tamari Davis in 11.02, and followed again by Tanisha Terry from the United States so in 11.07. This was definitely not the time the that Shakari Richardson wanted so to run. In fact, I would imagine that Julian Alfred also expected to run slightly faster, but either way, Julian Alfred just cemented herself as a medal contender in this year's World Finals. And this is only the continuation for this amazing athlete. If we take a look at her full season in the 100 meters, we can see that Julian Alfred is the real deal. In fact, she is almost objectively the greatest sprinter to ever come out of St. Lucia. And this single victory over Shakari Richardson really paints her in a bigger picture because Julian Alfred had already dominated the NCAA scene, breaking the indoor 60 meter record multiple times, breaking the indoor 200 meter record in 22.01. And again, she has been an undefeated athlete in the outdoor 100 and the 200. For much of 2023, it was Shakari Richardson, Marie Jose Tolu, and now Sharika Jackson. But Julian Alfred has officially entered the picture, and this performance of 10.89 was she truly amazing. Vibe. And I cannot wait to see what she does in the World Finals. And now I want to hear from all of you. What do you take away from this women's 100? Do you think Julian Alfred is one of the favorites to win the gold? Do you think she'll finish in the top three? And what does this say about Shakari Richardson, who finished almost a tenth of a second behind Julian Alfred? She was tired. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, she was tired. until next time. She just had a race two days ago with Miss Jackson, who was who they call the fastest woman alive. So she was tired. I give her that. If she was fresh, she would not won. She was tired. But congratulations to to Julian Alfred though. Um, like you just like in, in your debut to be like. Check out is, is incredible, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to her for that.